The cell phone video of George Floyd's death played a key role in Derek Chauvin's conviction. We have seen similar videos shared in other cases, too. And while they may offer transparency and raise awareness, Brittany klein Peter spoke to a therapist about the toll they can take on mental health. George Floyd cried out for his mother in his final few moments of life in Minneapolis. While Rayshard Brooks and Vincent Truitt didn't have time to, in Atlanta and Cobb County both shot while running from police. Each was captured on video for the world to see. While these videos have been crucial in many cases, viewing them may be taking a toll on your mental health, with people of color particularly affected. Overall, we have seen a spike in a lot of anxiety. We've seen a spike in depression and a lot of other symptoms related to PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, unfortunately, because it has become such a norm, we're becoming a bit desensitized to it, but it's absolutely re-triggering and re-traumatizing for the Black community as a whole to consume this on such a regular basis. How does someone recognize that they may be experiencing those symptoms, such as PTSD, anxiety, because of the consumption of these videos. I think that sometimes we might not be able to make certain connections between this is what I'm consuming and this is the impact that it's having on my mental health. But if you're starting to notice that your thoughts are a little bit more negative, darker or heavier than normal, if you're starting to notice some of those patterns and it's becoming hard to do basic things that we would do every day, that's how we know that it might be pointing to a larger mental health concern. You will find much more on the George Floyd case as well as other local cases involving police use of force online and on our 11 Alive app.